Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Stewie Griffin from The Family Guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the eyes. He's got two bulgy eyes on either side of his head, so I'm going to, let's start with the one on the left. So I'm going to start at the top and draw a circle. So coming down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. I'm going to go over to the right side and draw the exact same sized eye. So let's start at the top again, and we're going to work our way down to the bottom, and then back up to the top again. Now from here, let's draw the upper eyelids. So he's got two eyelids that kind of slope down towards the center of his face. So on the right, on the left side here, I'm just going to slope it down towards the center of his face. And on the right, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Let's draw the pupils. So the pupils just sit on the top, just below the upper eyelid. So we're just going to draw a circle on the left, call that in black. And we'll draw one more on the right, call that in black. And then the bottom eyelids actually come up on the face. So Right up here, I'm just going to draw a straight line across the bottoms, just like so. Now with the nose, I'm going to draw an angled line. So right in the middle of his nose from here, I'm going to draw an angle coming down, and it's going to come back towards the center of the face. Let's get into the mouth. So right here, just below the nose, I'm just going to draw a straight angled line. And then we're going to curve the bottom of the mouth so it's kind of like a curved frown, like so. Up here, we're just going to come in halfway, or just a little bit less than halfway. Let's draw the bottom lip, a little curve like that. I'm going to draw some eyebrows. So up above each eye, I'm just going to draw an angle. Some angry eyes going like this. Now that I have the center of the face done, it makes it easier for me to draw in the shape and the size of the head. So he's got sort of like a football-shaped head, and the ears sort of sit on either side of the eyes. So right about here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a point of reference. So on the side of the left eye here, I'm just going to draw a dot here. And move over to the right side and roughly about the same distance from the eye, another dot there. I'm going to curve and connect these two points with a curve. So starting on the left side, I'm going to curve to the top of the head, which would be roughly about here. And then work our way down to the right side, like so. Now from here, let's draw in the ears. So on this side, I'm going to have the ear overlapping the head. So just doing a little overlap, I'm going to draw a little curve, kind of like a C shape. From here, I'm just going to draw some ear detail. So a curve like this, and then just kind of cross it like that on that one side. Over on this side, it's going to go behind the head. So I'm going to do an overlap the opposite way. So curving around like this, and then just drawing a little line like so. Now I'm going to draw the bottom of the chin and the bottom of the head. So this is going to come down to roughly about here, where my finger is. So let's go back up here and go behind this ear. I'm going to curve down to where my finger was. From here, I'm gonna work my way up and overlap this ear on that side. So going around and over that ear. Okay, so we got the head, let's draw on some hair. So he's got a series of little strands of hair that sort of curve over this line on top of his head. So starting on the left, we're just gonna start on the line and just curve in. Leave a gap and just kind of work our way around the head like so. So starting on the line, Curving up and back in over the line. Just kind of repeating this around the head like so. We do one more here. Okay, so we got the head. Let's get into the body. So I'm just going to have them in a natural sort of standing position. So with the shoulders, they come right down to the arms. So on the left, I'm going to start on the side of the head here. I'm going to curve down to the wrist. And on the right, I'll do the same thing. So curving down to the wrist. Let's draw on this arm first because I'm going to have him sort of pointing in that direction there. So from here, I'm just going to draw the width of his arm with a curve. And we're going to take this and go all the way up to his armpit. It's kind of like that. Let's draw on the hand. So the back of the hand, we're just going to come in a little bit, do a little curve like this. We'll draw one finger that curves in like that. We'll do an overlap. And then a final overlap that tucks in underneath that cuff and then sleeve. From here, let's get into the body. So this is the opposite arm, but the body actually overlaps on top of the arm. So let's go up to the armpit here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curve down to the hips, just like so. Now from here, I can draw in the back of this arm. So let's draw in a curve, the same height that I have over here. We're gonna draw in the suspenders. So in each side of his chest, we draw a little circle. So right here, draw a tiny circle here, and then one on the right side. From here, I'm going to draw the two straps that go in underneath the head. So underneath this circle, I'm going to draw a curve 
two curves going up and tucking in underneath that chin. In between here, I'm going to connect these two dots or circles with a curl that goes up. And on this side, I'm going to tuck in under that arm. And over here, it's just going to fade behind that body. Let's get into the legs. So these legs will come down to roughly about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the front of this leg first by curving down. On this side here, I'm just going to curve down. Now I'm going to curve these in towards the middle. So what I'm going to find is the middle point here and draw a little point. From this side of the leg, I'm just going to curve into that point. And then I'm going to curve to the outside of the right leg. From here, I'm going to go straight up to the bottom of the torso. So right about here. And then take this line and curve up. You can draw in a little bit of hand here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a little thumb like this. And then just kind of simply just tuck that in underneath that wrist. For the feet, I'm just going to step in a little bit on the left side and curve the back of the heel. And this is going to curve the bottom of the foot. And then just tuck this back in to the front of the leg. So here I'm just going to do an overlap. And then just tuck that in underneath that leg. And I think that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Stewie Griffin from The Family Guy. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.